What's up, y'all? It's Latif. Um, back with another video. Now it's gonna be a little bit of a different video. I'm be reacting to the Team USA scrimmages uh, from yesterday. Now it's 12:44 um, in the morning right now, and I probably should have did this earlier, but I went to sleep, and um, the the footage wasn't as accessible as it is now. So I have it downloaded on my computer. Well, this is YouTube, but um, where it is, K Cunningham was the best player on the floor tonight. So I just want to break down some film. I'm just watching the whole thing, my general reaction to it, um, what I noticed, what I think would be translatable to the actual NBA game. I heard, like, the team select team beat team, um, like, the actual FIBA team that's going to be playing against the other countries um, both times in both scrimmages. I think there was two 10-minute scrimmages. This is a 42-minute video. And uh, I watched some clips of it early. Looked like K really was the main creator for Team Select, ran the offense, and was probably the most integral reason in why they were successful today. So I'm going to just be reacting to that. K is one of my favorite players. Um, his ability to get downhill and create for others is what really stands out for me. Um, he's dealt with injuries in his first two years. But I think K, honestly, his biggest problem is uh, inefficiency. And um, in his young, short career, that's been his biggest problem. But I think he has a pretty complete game already, though. Um, he's very like, – it's not it's not efficient yet, but I think he'll be able to operate in mid-range. I think he'll be able to hit a three. I think he'll be able to get to the basket. Um, he's already above average defender, in my, my opinion. So I think K he, – he just has to keep growing, continue to uh, get more efficient, and that comes with time. Um, he has like a 12% true shooting um, gap to make up to be like a, a good – efficiency type player so i'm gonna be watching every everybody but i'm gonna really be focusing on Kate um since he was a player that um stood out today so let's get it started yeah shout out who jab for the uh for the footage though let me skip this so, J the stars are Jalen Brunson, Brandon Ingram. Let me turn this down. Y'all need to hear all that. Turn it down a little bit. Brandon Ingram, Jaron Jackson Jr., um, Cam Johnson, and Mikael Bridges. I'm surprised they didn't start Tyrese Halliburton to run the offense because they got Jalen Brun Brunson as the best playmaker, basically on the floor at the point guard position. I think maybe Tyus Halliburton could have, could have ran the offense. It's a pretty big lineup they got out here. But then, first thing, the biggest thing is, like, when you got this lineup on here, you got uh, Kay Cunningham getting guarded by Jalen Brunson for most of the scrimmage. I think if he was guarded by Cam Johnson or Kale Bridges, he would have um, had to work a lot harder. You're going to see in this, this film that he basically um, gets his spots a lot easier is able to use the pick and roll a lot easier because Jalen Brunson, while he is giving effort, as you can see, is not that great of a defender. So, I've already watched this play right here. I love how K got to his spot, like, got to his spot in the mid range. Look how, like, bro, he sees that Jaron Jackson Jr. is going to stay with Jaron Duran, but he's looking, possibly contest a shot, and then he uses his body. A lot like he has a big frame, six eight point guard. That's the most intriguing thing about K is that his frame, um, he gets his spots a lot. If he gets it, his spots in the NBA and, and he can hit these mid range floaters, um, pull up jump shots, and he'll be one of the best overall playmakers in the NBA. So, yeah, they definitely need to change the matchup. I don't know, I haven't watched the whole thing, so I don't know if they changed the matchup, but K was definitely eating. And he's making the best decisions possible, too. I wonder how this team is going to do. I think they'll definitely win gold pretty easily. 
But I think Team USA typically builds confidence for younger players. And so to see, like, K and other young players uh, perform well against these veteran guys, kind of. I mean, some of these players are still young, but they're still veteran guys in the league. I think it's going to build confidence for them. And for K to be bringing the ball up every single time, creating all the offense, it's pretty promising. And he's establishing a lot of chemistry with Jalen Durant as well. I saw on summer league Jalen Durant was shooting a lot more jump shots. I think he's trying to add that to his game. They are gonna need that on the on the Pistons for sure. To get more space around K, more offense creation. Yeah, good shot, Jalen Brunson. You gotta hit that. You gotta hit that Kendrick Murray. Jesus Christ. Good take, John. Now, obviously, these scrimmages are not like everything. They're still scrimmages. But I feel like they, they do a, whole, a little bit of weight. Jalen Green. I think Jalen Green had a good showing too. If Jalen Green is able to play off ball in Houston, it's gonna work, it's gonna work wonders for his game. Since he don't have to create all the time in the pick and roll. He is not a great pick and roll creator at all. I think he's gonna work great off, you know, back cuts, get like moving around the ball and just having other players create for him. That's why Fairland Fleet was such a great signing. I think Jalen Green is gonna be primed for a year three breakout. I think Jalen Green and K are both gonna have year three breakouts. Yeah, that 2021 class is gonna is gonna be loaded. When we look back at it. That's a great show by Jalen Duran. Good shot. Yeah, I don't know why this is a matchup, but use the pick and roll, hesitation. Look at that lob. Let's let's replay that. Let's replay that. Like, he's so good in the pick and roll, navigating through it. And then he's building chemistry with Jalen Duran. I think that's the biggest thing you could take away from this this whole scrimmage. It's how he operates in the pick and roll and reads the big man is the biggest thing. He already knows he has Jalen Brunson beat from the screen from Jalen Duran. And now you just have to read the big man. So, uh, Triple J engages a lot right here. So, he knows he got a lot. I feel like... Uh, Brandon Ingram got to come down and tag off Jalen Williams, who he can hit a three, but um, that's probably going to be an easier way to recover. If Brandon Ingram come down here and tag the roll man, um, this this lob pass is a lot harder. He doesn't, though. He just stays in the nose man land and then allows uh, Jalen Dorn for the lob. That's a great read by Cade, though. You got to take what the defense gives you. Come on, bro. Look, bro. In transition, I think pull up jump shooting is was, was something he struggled with in uh, I believe in um in year one. And to to see the patience that he has in transition. And this shows the the, the change in NBA. That, that would have been a bad shot a few a few years ago, like five, ten years ago. But I actually think K didn't miss a shot. If I, I was seen on Twitter, I don't think he missed a shot this entire scrimmage. Early on, though, looking like one of the most experienced players on the team. Yeah. Good, good, good job, good job. Good job. Yeah. Okay, you got Mikael Bridges on the display. Let's see what happens. That was a soft foul. Probably called that. If, if I'm opposing teams, opposing countries, I'm hunting Jalen Brunson every time he's on the court. Like everybody else is pretty uh, above average defenders. Sounds like Brandon Ingram, but he's not a liability or anything like that. If you can hunt Jalen Brunson and take advantage of his size. I would definitely do that. 
That's a great take, Jalen Williams. Who was that? Oh, Jalen Duran. Easy. Hey, and I thought they hated each other. People are always talking about Jalen Green and Kay Cunningham got this rivalry. With, but, you know, on the basketball court, they all, they all goes away. Great look. Another great look. They are whooping their ass to start, bro. Just playing with more defense intensity, a lot more energy. 11 to 7. Well, they ain't whooping their ass, but... I'm surprised they didn't start Anthony Edwards. That is crazy. Paolo is on the actual team and Cade is not? That's I don't know. I wonder if it's possible that Cade can move up or something like that. Has that ever been done? Because to be honest, if Paolo was on there, Cade could definitely be on there. And Paolo from, um, he like from Italy? I saw this, uh, this, this tweet. The president of wherever Paulo is from was would call him a a, a traitor. Look at Chet. What's Chet gonna do today? Nas Reed. Oh come on, bro. Add. You. Making your thing happen. Really going. I don't. I should. Why am I not skipping? Come on, bro. Walk in. All right, they got Hallie on the floor. Hopefully, this offense gets a little more groove to it with Hallie running the offense. Austin Reeves, AR 15. This is like more of a defensive game right now. I want to know who is this select team sec uh, secondary creator. Okay. Great read to the corner. You got to knock it down, kick him right. Good rebound. That's a good DM. That's another great rebound, K, though. Oh my God. Grown man move. He's never the number five. He's looking this year locked in. I'm expecting another big week from that, too. I think he could possibly be one of the best players in the NBA one day, based on the NBA type stuff. Oh, why is he not starting? He's the best player on the team. That's, that's, I wonder if they're going to go to, you know, like, what is it, country play, team play, whatever it's called, and off the bench. Let's see what K. oh, okay, come on, K. Yep, user size, you got to make that. I'm in chat, I said K. Good take, Paolo. I'm really big Paolo and uh, K guys, though. I like Fours, big guards that can uh, play make, get to the basket, have like really pound games. Now, Apollo, speaking of Apollo, he just definitely needs to be a lot more efficient. He was very inefficient, but he was a rookie, so gotta give us a slack. Three point game was three point game non existent. He was shooting like three percent over a course of a month last season, but he's a good uh, rim defender, he is a good playmaker. And he can operate in the mid-range, although it's not that efficient. And he's a great attack of the basket. So I think K, I mean not K, Paulo will do the grow as well. Okay, he got Ann on him. I'm trying to see how he operates with with out of switches. Okay. Good shit, Nas Reed. That was more on um Holly though. That was just, he was hesitant. And one. Ah, that looks bad. <laughs> Let me replay that. 
That looks oh, bad. I ain't gonna lie. Because people was definitely saying Austin Reed is better than Jalen Green. <laughs> Strong move, though. Come on. Jalen Green looks good so far. I've been seeing him being a lot in the weight room. He's been locked in the gym. I know Rockets fans on Twitter are like, oh my, they are literally unbearable. But Jalen Green has been in the gym a lot this summer. Um, he's been doing weight training, got a lot bigger. So I want to see his growth in year. Uh, what do we get? Three, two. Let me move Paolo. Paolo looks like he just belongs in year two. Like, NBA ready body coming in. Like, I never remember Paolo first two games in the NBA. Bro looked like he was an all star already. It was wild. Those shoes he got on is nice too. Who's on the bench now? Braden Pritchard on the offense. All right, good pass, Jalen Green. Good pass, great pass, boy. Hey, who is that? I don't like Bobby Portis. Is that Bobby Portis? My children. It is Bobby Portis, I think. Okay. Uh, they can let that go. Three minutes left in this scrimmage, I think. I think I'm gonna do a separate a separate video on just K film breakdown. Um just like TikTok, YouTube Reels. If you're not following us on there on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, make sure you guys give uh, us a follow. It's gonna be everything's being linked in the bio. I wish I got this out earlier because I hope it's you know still a hot topic by the time let me take this editor. Let me take this thumbnail maker so I can get this, this thumbnail made. I don't want to make it myself. Also, he's so crafty, bro. Great body control, too. Boy, if Austin Reeves is the starting point guard for the Lakers next year, I am not too mad because uh, throughout the course of seasons, at some points he played better than D'Lo, and he's a great, not great, he's a good operator in the pick and roll. He makes a lot of good decisions out of that, um, especially as a playmaker and a scorer getting downhill. Austin Reeves is the best contract in the NBA, basically, outside of like Jalen Brunson. Got that man for $13 million all year. Quentin Grimes. Who is shooting that? Oh, no, it's <sighs> Let's clip, let's clip. I really only came here to watch K, to be honest. I 
I ain't got a uh, email from this man in so long. Let's get the free throws, bro. I'm not gonna watch my free throws. We got Holly bringing the ball up. Okay, what just happened? When we get to when we get to the end, when he comes, hard show. Why did why why is he not getting hit? Like why? Ant, what is that? He swings to the corner. Why? Ant? Yeah, and definitely didn't prove that playmaking. Why is Langston Galloway? Why? They got some. They got some ran like some random people. I saw the bro. I saw the USA team picture, bro. I don't know who number fifty two is, who number forty two is, and why is Langston Galloway on a team? Like, y'all can find nobody else. Yes, my thumbnail maker. One of my thumbnail makers responded. Let's go. Okay. I'm just saying, like, a sign on, on here because they've been. Uh, I don't want to miss too much. Let me just. Nothing in the game. I don't need to watch. <laughs> Damn, now I got a picture. We understand an upside down world, but they're writing us off before we get to the starting line. A stalled generation. 21 and 20. Is that the, the end of the first one? I'm about to skip it. it is. Hold on. Look at K being a leader. Look at K being a leader. That's what I love to see, bro. He's definitely a young Pistons team. Okay, yeah. Okay. The lot is getting skipped. We, we all start playing basketball. Uh, 
I should be doing this. I'm seeing too many pretty Christian minutes. Get him out the game. Get K back in the game. Get him back in the game. Chat, what the? Chet, what the? What is that? What is that, bro? Good, good. Oh my God, Ant. Okay, let's break this down. Come on the screen. The grown man move, bro. You gotta start in and it's hooping low key. You gotta start in. I hope hopefully we start in an actual play. That shit was bad. Ah, uh, come on, Ant. Come on, Ant. Lock back in. I'm lock back in. Jalen during the line. We gonna skip the line. Wait. Great pass, Jalen Bronson. His New York Knicks teammate, Josh Hart. Locking them up. That's why they won. Scrappy defense. Yeah. 
Let's get Kay back in the game. Boy, K back in the game. Let's see what see what we got going on. Fuck the free throws. We got 12 minutes left. Let's close out this last scrimmage. Oh yeah, he's too small. He's too small. And one. Thank you. You gonna create so many mismatches for 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 bigs for smaller guards. Like you gonna have to put a bigger guard on K at all times in the NBA. The business really just needs spacing. Like, I get the Osir oh, pick because of the talent. Jesus, they needed a shooter, and it wasn't it wasn't really want to get that early. But I mean, I think Cam, not Cam Whitmore. I think Jerry's Jarris would have worked. Jarris would have worked there. He would have worked. He would have worked that five. This is a connector. I mean, you still have to do a lot of the same thing. I'm just not sure about his spot up shooter. The pass, B.I. All right, it's 9 and 10. This one is getting competitive. I think I'm going to carry bridges on him this time. Let's see what he does. Seems like he's having a little bit more trouble with Mikael Bridges as the as a as the main matchup, but I've only seen about three assists and he finished with six. And I think he only has like five points too, so he's about to go crazy in this. Right now, I'll say it's between Kay and Ant look like the best players on the floor right now for, for either team. Jan Dorn not playing too bad either. Hey! Let's go, Jalen Dorn. Who's that on? Who, who? Mikael Bridges, little body. All right, I see it after he knows. Yep. Good use of his body. I ain't gonna lie, Jalen Brunson is one of the best players that after he gets beat, after he blow past somebody, uh, getting into their body, creating foul opportunities. One of the best in the game at that. All right, bro. Off the free goes. Directing the offense. Great pass. On a mismatch. Too small. He's too small. He's too small. Look at this. Look at this dynamic duo for the future. Force the switch. Identify the mismatch. It's a strong move by Jalen Dunn. That boy got to start upside. And he cut his ear. He locked in. That boy got start upside, man.
That's a defensive player of the year, by the way. I'm not looking too much into this rep because, I mean, I don't know how much Jaron actually tried. Like, he's obviously going to try to play better defense in, that, in, in the NBA season, but he does do a good job of getting downhill. But, you know, that was a lot of luster. I'm not going to fanboy too much on that one. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, I wonder what they what they talking about in these huddles. Like, this is an actual scrimmage. What are we are we writing our plays? Are we doing strategies? What are we doing? Game plans, adjustments. Yeah, they're just locking up. It's just the defense. The effort on the on the on the USA select side is is definitely a lot more than the actual uh, people team. Oh my God, the chemistry between these two, bro. He's just getting downhill, creating for others. Great use of the body. I don't know. I just don't know why Mikael Bridges is pressing him that high. It, is, it makes no sense. Good pass, Holly. Boom! Let's go, AR. Great post up if that would have connected. Ah. Okay, it's a close game. It's not like they blew them out. They did win both scrimmages though. Let's see what happens. Maybe K takes over. Great pass. It's just a great decision every single time down the court. Denies the screen. This is just bad defense from, from Paulo. Like, I think he's anticipating him shooting it. Yeah, that's just a, that's a great pass between two defenders, too. And does a terrible job being a helper right there, too. I don't know. Uh, I mean, it's not a bad look. That's not a bad look, Jalen. Iso on AR. Let's see what he does. Great D, boy. That's great D. Hey! I do got to be real quiet. It's 1.23 a.m. I'm not working, man. Great D. Travel. Hey, if Ant gets that mid range down, he's gonna be dangerous. He shot like, I think like thirty eight percent last year. If I'm not mistaken. From mid range, I'm hacking. Yeah, that's a foul. Keep your hands off Cave. Keep your hands off of him. We get the line. Okay, that's two free throws. You know what? Come on now. From the end, two minutes left. Break. 
I like how they just get it to K every single time, letting him run the offense. He's probably been showing a lot of leadership. My, oh my, oh, that's a good D. That's a good D. Egan. Hey, boy. Yeah, there's a lot more effort on the select team. I think the select team will probably win gold anyways, though. Maybe. I don't know, because Canada is pretty nice. They probably wouldn't. I don't know. It'll be close. A versus Ant. They said the leagues. Yeah, he's too small. He's too small. Bro. If he comes a more efficient score, this man is going to be so nice. And when he plays, it doesn't even like he's trying too hard. Like, it seems like the game comes so easy to him. Like, other players seem more forced. But, like, with K, it just seems like it's so... It's so easy. They want a scrimmage. 26-19. All right, man. So takeaways from that scrimmage. I think, you know, it's a scrimmage. You know, I don't want to jump to conclusions too much, but I see the K hype. I've been seeing it all on Twitter. I see why people are excited about him coming back from year three because, you know, last year he only played 12 games, and he averaged about 20 points and about, like, seven assists, I think, um, last season before going down. Um, still needs to work on that efficiency. Still needs to work on that pull-up jump shooting, I believe. But um, his feel for the game, his playmaking ability, is what has me excited about K. And then just from this, just from this scrimmage, him and Jalen during connection looked really well. Um, you could very, you could tell they were teammates out there for sure. And if if Jalen Duran continue to be that great role man for him, they they can stay together for years and years and be very productive for the Pistons. So I think the bright, it's a bright future there. Um, I think Jalen Duran continue to you know develop his game. He could be an all-star potentially. Like what I saw from Ant um, as far as scoring, but he's definitely were still working on that playmaking. I don't think it's a cause of concern that they lost to this select team. I think that it was more of an energy thing. They they definitely wanted a lot more than them. They were a lot uh, more um, concentrated on defense, and I think it would be beneficial for Ant to start and maybe Tyrese Halliburton to run a point guard. Um, Jalen Brunson – was definitely a defense liability out there, especially on K. I saw they, they moved away from that a lot, but he still cooked Michael Bridges. He cooked and he cooked Brad Ingram, whoever is on him. So, uh, I really came in for K. I'm gonna do an entire breakdown of his film specifically by itself. Uh, but that was some good film, though. Good scrimmages. It's great to see at this point in the offseason, there's not a lot to talk about. Um, great to see some actual basketball. I think Luca just played too. I'll probably react to that. Uh, in the, in the next coming days, but if you guys are still watching, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, follow me on Instagram. Well, not follow the channel, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. My personal uh, Twitter will be in the description as well. I, I, I want this channel to continue to grow. I want to keep growing. Uh, we got to put the, a lot more work in, gotta be a lot more entertaining, concentrated, consistent, and we will get the job done. But if you made it this far, thank you for watching. And Latif is going to be 